to YouTube. So I uh, finished putting this uh, truck cab mount back together. And you can see it there. So he'll have no problem passing inspection with this. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of dust in this morning. It's a shame for these trucks. And what these bastards don't understand is that um, when you get to a certain age and you're retired <coughs> and you're living on a fixed income, these people do not have money to buy new truck parts, or new trucks I should say, just because of a little bit of rust. And it uh, makes it hard to have a reliable vehicle, plus the people that are doing inspections are such crooks. <clears throat> anyway, on another note, I got this kiln the other day from a friend of mine, he gave it to me. I was looking them up on the internet if, when they're brand new the freaking things are like two thousand bucks so it needs a little bit of work but I'm going to use that to melt aluminum so I can make parts so anyway that's where I'm at today not a very long video on my way into town to pick up some new sockets I bought so it's another day in Pennsylvania. Have a good one, guys. Oh, I'll take a picture of my truck while I'm at it. Yeah, so I had, like I said, I had plowed a couple of times already with it. And, uh, the truck's looking good. Everything's holding up nice. There's no, uh, cracks in anything or no loose bolts. I want to get it in the garage probably in another month or so and do some checking of stuff. Man, just having this the way this is really a relief. I had taken the truck to get it inspected and you can see it's not inspected. The last time I had it inspected was of 14 and the guy said oh it's $65 all I wanted was a wheel alignment oh it's gonna be $65 now you guys know I replaced all the parts on this truck I go back two days uh, the next day oh it's gonna be $500 because I have to replace a pitman arm I had checked that pitman arm and all the linkage and stuff and they just lie to you about because they need money and they want to freaking work on your car and not do something like just give you the sticker when the truck passed inspection. There's not a thing wrong with this truck, nothing. Yet I couldn't get it inspected because they said that the pivot line was bad. So I'll just take it somewhere else. And I know that they'll inspect it. It's a shame that things are like this, but that's the way it is. All right, guys, I gotta go. Have a good one, bye.